Hello, and welcome back to another Heroes and Generals Weapons Guide. Today's guide is on the M3 Grease Gun, the WD-40 of Heroes and Generals. The United States submachine gun caliber 45 M3, or otherwise known as by many veterans as the Greaser, is a light compact SMG. She weighs 7.95 pounds and is 29.8 inches in length. Her deadly payload is 30 rounds of the deadly 45 ACP, a rather hard-hitting round to an unarmored target. It is common size round. It's a common sized round used in World War II. And it's also a common round used by today's standard sidearms, but used by units like the United States Rangers and the US Army. Our guide will be focusing on using this little SMG for maximum close quarter combat. Now remember, you will be fighting other SMGs and even some pistols at these ranges. We'll also be setting her up, as you can see, my gun's name is Golly, Miss Molly. The gun's hip fire is very good compared to other guns, and it And in this range and class weather, some things are wrong with this gun, as in here as in general would notice that, it, that you do get the grease gun before the Thompson, however, the grease gun was issued after the Thompson was in World War II. It was built to replace the Thompson, not be usurped by it. As such, the M3 outclasses, outclasses its predecessor so much that many would not, not believe that such a simple built weapon could work until the late 50s where the weapon even saw combat in the Korean and even the Vietnam War. On average, the gun will only let you down at ranges over 50 meters. This is where the damage drop off is so much that, it, that even the best of us can only handle the unrealistic recoil of the model of the game. The gun recoil in real life tended to pull down and to the left due to the ejecting mechanism of the spent round, not up like it is modeled in the game. So, what do we know? One, the gun in close quarters uh, combat under 50 meters can be godlike if used right. 2. Do not try to shoot targets past 50 meters, you're going to lose. 3. Stick to cover and use fast moving cars, trucks or tanks. 4. Burst fire is your friend at intermediate ranges. 5. Hip fire works well with the right perks. Now, there's a multiple way of setting up your your, your mod. Mine is good, is good for sustained fire and for te fire teammates to support slash support fire. You could set up for a base rush defense by using heavy set silver or gold and fast reload. This combo is good for making sure that you can take a hit from a wannabe recon base attacker with them pesky scout T semi autos, or you can forego the heavy set and add dead eye or tight grip. This will help keep the weapons bloom from covering the wall and not the intended target. This build is also good for a run and gun style of play. As for mods, I tend to go straight for I tend to go for slight increasing rate of fire for the gun. In real life, this gun could not be modified due to the gun the way the gun was built with stamped and riveted body. It was almost impossible to open her up, as the boys called it, and look up her dress. So I've gone for a mix of rate of fire and range. No, how I have modified my M3, you need to find your own way of modding your weapon to suit your playstyle. The mods I use. For ammunition, I went with United Defense Force, no sights, field trigger job, light and spring, no barrel, and I didn't bother with any kind of camo. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking Cobra, will this build make many millions of silvers? No it won't. On a good game, with more than 7 to 10 kills in encounter or skirmish games, you'll make about 1000 to 1500 after repairs and refit. In assault or defense games, you will make about four to six thousand. Again, this depends on your playstyle and how long you do, how long you last, and how well you do your job as an attacker or a defender. The objective, the the objective, you will even clear 12k on some games, i.e., war games that go longer than 60 plus minutes with a rank nine soldier. However, this weapon is easily unlocked using the assault ribbons. But once you have this weapon unlocked, it will not progress you down your assault ribbons. So, I hope you enjoy the montage at the end of the video, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, I greatly appreciate it. Until then guys, I'll see you in the next one.